Last on Salvage One. Telcom was put into orbit 15 years ago, and that satellite is covered with solid gold. When it falls into the Earth's atmosphere, it's going to burn up like a shooting star. So we're going to go pick it up before that happens. There is a top secret device aboard Telcom that not even NASA knows about. But Broderick would never. He is to be kept away from it, and he's to be told nothing. Harry! I should have known you'd have tried something like that, Harry. Now you're under arrest. We'll just have to find another way, won't we? Skip, it's for you. Dr. Singleton at NASA. If you don't say yes, we don't go home. It's a heavy responsibility. When the mission's over, if you decide to leave the program, well, it's all right. We'd understand. They won't be back. And NASA! Skip Carmichael plays a palace? OK, guys, what's up? We just found out that the satellite is falling out of orbit in two weeks. We're going to have to go now. What about the MPs out there? We're going to fly it out right in front of them. We'll get that satellite ourselves. I can't go. I know. You got to go. You gave your word. Harry, you and Mel are a lot more you important. You gave your word. That's what's important. Say goodbye for me. This is Alpha Mission Control at T plus 36 hours. All systems are go. Is it just me or is it cold in here? Wait a minute, listen. Panel's freezing. We're gonna have to open it up. Be extremely careful. Just a couple of turns at a time. Look out! Tighten it, tighten it! What happened? It's in the valve itself. No way to fix it. What's going on up there? The cooling system is wide open. They'll freeze up there. We've got to do something. We're all going to die, aren't we? And now the conclusion of Golden Orphan. Once upon a time, a junk man had a dream. I want to build a spaceship, go to the moon, salvage all the junk that's up there, bring it back, sell it. So he put together a team, an ex-astronaut. Oh, 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 oh. A fuel expert, they built a rocket ship, and they went to the moon. Who knows what they'll do next? teams this is mission control at t plus 52 hours the situation is unchanged the cooling system malfunction has now driven alpha's cabin temperature below zero degrees all team leaders will assemble in conference room a in 15 minutes cabin temperature, will you? Four degrees below zero. Falling about 12 degrees an hour. Four hours, it'll be 50 below in here. Battery packs in the suit will only keep us warm for a few hours. Alpha, this is Mission Control. Alpha, do you copy? Come in, Alpha. Roger, uh, Mission Control, this is Alpha, over. Alpha, your signal's a little weak. You read us. Just barely. We're at minus four degrees. I think the cold's beginning to affect the solar battery. Over. Make every effort to conserve body heat. Our engineers are assessing the problem now. Roger. Out. There's nothing they can do. Only a 
matter of time. How can you arrest us? We haven't done anything illegal. You were about to steal government property? The vulture? But we built her. She belongs to us. Wrong. If you don't pay your tax bill, that spaceship's going to become the property of the IRS. How am I going to pay my tax bill if I can't get up there and salvage that satellite? I don't like it any more than you do, Harry, but the vulture's going no place. Something's going on you're not telling us about. Just let it be, will you? You're in deep enough already. Well, how long are you going to keep us locked up like this? Harry! I'm monitoring Station Alpha. They've got trouble up there. You better come in and listen. Uh, control, listen, we got, uh, we got additional leakage up here, and uh, the, the temperature's dropping faster. Huh? All right. What are we going to do about this? Frankly, Doctor, there's nothing we can do unless that defective valve is replaced. You gotta try. All right. We'll get another Saturn V ready. Get a crew up there. We'll try and replace that valve. Looks like kid each other. These battery packs only took the edge off for a while. It takes 18 hours to fuel a Saturn V. Under normal conditions, another 12 hours beyond that for countdown. Hey, listen, Houston, why don't you just save yourself the trouble? By the time you get to us, we'll be frozen solid. Out. Jack, they're in trouble. We've got to help them. There's nothing you can do, Harry. Yes, there is. All they need is a replacement part of Valve. If they can get one up there in time, they'll be OK. NASA can't make it in time, but we can. She's all fueled and ready to go. What do you mean, fueled? Where'd you get the fuel? I had to make some. Not that monohydrazine again. Well, forget that. Jack, you heard them. They're going to die. It, at least let me call NASA to tell them there's an option. I can't do that, Harry. That skip up there. Jack, please. Nobody's calling anybody while I'm still here. I'm going out and get some fresh air. worth a try. And this is the, the same rocket that you use for the moon salvage, Broderick? Yes, and she's fueled and ready to go. How long would it take you to uh, attempt such a rendezvous? As long as it takes you fellas to get your stuff together. What, a few hours? It's risky at best, but there's no compatibility for docking. Well, the United States has never had a death in space. Sending you up there multiplies the risk. Look, the risk is ours. You've already got three astronauts who are going to be dead in a few hours. Suppose we don't make it. Suppose we get killed up there. Are you any worse off than you are now? Well, are you? It's the only chance you've got, and you'd better grab it. Let's do it. All right, Broderick. We'll give it a try. We'll have a jet on the way in 15 minutes, placement valve, and extra battery pack. OK. Okay. But there's something you've got to straighten out from your end. 
You've got to get us out of jail. That's the priority flight 101. This is Los Angeles Air Control. Your car and escort are standing by. Over. Thank you, LAX. Our ETA is four minutes. Yes, sir. Hi, ma'am. Hi, Jim. How are you? Is uh, this the flight capsule? It's it. Well, it, it looks like a cement mixer. Yeah, it used to be. Where are the other stages? There aren't any. You're looking at the whole ship. Well, maybe I, I, better, I better get suited up. Where, where's the clean room? You can use that trailer. It's pretty clean. We have a suit all ready for you. Yours won't be compatible with our system. Half a million miles. All the way to the moon and back. Not flat. in control. This is Alpha. Over. Mission Control, calling Station Alpha. Come in. Come in, Alpha. This is Alpha Station, calling Mission Control. Can you still read me? Over. When was the last time you had radio contact with them? About an hour ago. An hour. Well, then it may be too late. I have no idea how he contacted NASA, sir. He must have called while I was out of the office. Now, just a minute, Mr. Teague. It is not a trick to get the satellite. It is a rescue mission. It so happens that Mr. Carmichael is in that space station. Yes, sir. I'll have a full report for you. OK, Harry, all systems are go. Let's get a radio check. Houston Control, this is Salvage One. Radio check, over. Roger, Salvage One. Read you loud and clear. OK, Hank, we're about ready to go. Roger, we are standing by. Hey, are you, you, you sure these, uh, these seats are going to be able to handle the blasts or stresses? We don't have the initial thrust of a Saturn V. You'll be fine. I suppose you, you've calculated my extra weight and fed it into the computer. No time, Jim. Some things we handle by the seat of our pants. Ready for ignition. Activating turbo starters. Turbo starter is activated. Five, four, three, two.
Salvage One, requesting an update on our position. We got you on radar. With the coordinates we've given you, you should be in the general area of Station Alpha within an hour. Roger, Houston. Our onboard computer confirms that position. How you doing, Jim? Well, um, after three years on NASA system, this is exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't the Ritz, but it gets the job done. be trying something. I just can't hold on any longer, Skip. Salvage One, we have you and Station Alpha on radar. You're closing fast. Please attempt radio contact with Alpha. Hello, Station Alpha. This is Salvage One calling Alpha. Skip, can you hear me? some kind of interference? Yeah, this close, it ought to be like talking into the next room. No, it's extreme cold. It's affecting their circuitry. There it is. Closing fast. Mission Control, this is Salvage One. We have Station Alpha on visual. Roger, Salvage One. Off to the left. You better go on now. to attempt contact. We have a problem. The only access available to you is an equipment hatch on the fuselage. The problem is that it's an airlock that latches from the inside. We haven't heard from the Alpha crew in an hour, and we have to assume the worst. They're alive in there. I know it. I can feel it. We'll make the attempt and then advise you. Now, we don't have all the fancy NASA equipment, so we're going to have to wing it. What are you going to do with that? 
That's for maneuvering. Figure I'll give it a little shot, and it'll give me some thrust. I've never done it before. We're gonna have to just fake it. Hmm, why stop now? <laughs> well, better get at it. Ready, Mel? All set. Go ahead and open the hatch. Here she goes. I'll go first for the mooring line. Let me get out there first, Jim, then you come on ahead. Okay, Harry. <laughs> Don't you quit on me, boy. Skip, 
ですよ Lieutenant Webster completed the valve replacement two hours ago. The thermal system is working perfectly again. Cabin temperature is normal. How's the crew? Thank God they're in top condition. There seem to be no serious physical problems. I'm checking them now. Hey, your hands are still cold. <laughs> well, cold hands, warm heart, Commander. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, there's no way that we can, we can really thank you. Ah, oh, forget it. We'll just charge NASA 15 cents a mile. <laughs> <laughs> All vital signs are normal. Even the morale seems high. Then there's no medical reason to abort the mission. Absolutely not. Assuming the crew wants to stay. Uh, Fulton, this is Dr. Singleton. In view of the medical report, how do you feel about continuing the mission? Oh, I feel good about it, sir. Uh, Something else I'd like to say, though, for the record. If it weren't for Skip Carmichael, we'd all be dead right now. Good. Then the mission continues. Uh, there is one small problem, sir. Space Station Alpha is designed for a three-man crew. The fourth member would be a problem on re-entry. And since Webster belongs up here, I think he should be my replacement. Replacement? Yes, sir. I was his. He can be mine. I'm resigning. Resigning? You can't resign. Why not now? Ah, oh, I beg your pardon, sir. You see, you said I could, and I am. But Carmichael, you can't... Carmichael, you, you can't just walk out. No astronaut has ever resigned while he's still in orbit. Well, no astronaut ever had another way home before. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need me anymore. Just send my check to Jettison Salvage, sir. <laughs> Out. You gotta be a little crazy, or you wouldn't want to be an astronaut. You know, Skip, this really means a lot to me. Hey, you know, I know people say this all the time, but we really do have to get together when Absolutely. we get back. If you can't make it to Houston, we'll come to LA. <laughs> right, I'll give you a tour of the junkyard. Come on, Skip, we gotta get out of here. Be there in a minute, Harry. Van? Take care, Skip. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Mission Control, this is Salvage One. We're separating from Station Alpha. Guys, how come I gotta sit in the back seat? Did you listen to the hitchhiker? We give him a lift and he wants to sit up in the front seat and drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you kind of surprised me back there resigning the way you did. Yeah, well, you know, Harry. Always leave him laughing. <laughs> yeah, or something. Now, you know, a lot of people said I wasn't a team player. I think I just had to decide which team I wanted to play on. Well, we might as well set a course for the big blue marble. You kidding? What? Space Station Alpha's in good shape. Might as well. Well, you didn't come all this way just to save me, did you? Wasn't there some loose talk about salvaging a communication satellite? Pay off a tax lien? Are you kidding? You were almost at death's door back there. I'm fine. Let's go get it. What do you say, Mel? Well, the satellite's orbit is still in the computer. Well? We're in the salvage business, aren't we? Yeah. I guess we are. Dr. Singleton, we're off course. Salvage one, this is Mission Control. Check your computer reading. You're in the wrong re-entry orbit. Repeat, you're in a 573-19-er-4 orbit. Check your computer and advise. What's going on? He's going after that satellite, isn't he? Huh? Jack, I don't know. I just work here. Harry, this is Klinger. Repeat, Klinger. Now you come straight back. 
straight back. That's an order. Jack, I, I can't make out what you're saying. Must be some interference. You're breaking up. Harry, I know what you're up to. If you go for that satellite, we're gonna feed it to you. You must be holding the microphone too close to your mouth. You sound like you're mad or something. Harry, you don't know what you're getting into. You got no idea. Harry. Peaceful and quiet up here, isn't it? <laughs> Operator, get me Washington. Priority Alpha. Klinger, that phone call better be collect. Uh. There it is. 24 carats. Mm. Come to Papa. <laughs> Switching to manual. You want some help, Harry? No, I got it. Well, you're at least gonna let me go out and help you get the satellite, aren't you? I don't know. What do you think? Shall we let him help us? Oh, I guess so. He's a good kid, and he does seem eager to learn the business. Yeah. And I resigned from NASA for this abuse. <laughs> golden nugget I've ever seen. Hey, Harry, where's the parachutes? No parachute. If something goes wrong, just lower yourself to earth on the rope. <laughs> you ready? All set, let's go. Isn't that crazy, Harry? Why? You can actually make money doing this. Yeah. You gotta get back to collect the chap. <laughs> NASA Houston, this is the Jodrell Bank tracking station. We show a meteor shower on a collision course with your Salvage One rescue craft. Thank you, Jodrell Bank. We'll advise Salvage One. I can't raise them on the radio. Hey, you know what we should have brought? What? A basketball hoop. We could have set a new space record. Yeah. We better clip the antennas off or we'll never get it through the hatch. Yeah. All we want is the gold anyway. What's that? I don't know. Mel, are you picking up anything on the sensors? No, but maybe you two ought to hurry it up a little. We're on our way in. Now I'm getting something. I don't know what it is, but it's moving fast and right towards us. Can you see anything? No, nothing. gravitational field. We've got to get our power back. I think it's a ruptured fuel line. I'm going to go out and have a look. You can't, Skip. It's a different ball game now. 
Harry, we've got to do something. And I'll go with you. No. You stay in here and handle my lifeline. Something's wrong. They're not in orbit, and they're not in re-entry trajectory. If they hit the atmosphere like that, it'll be like a Roman candle. Skip? Yeah, feels fine. Just hang on. We must be picking up the upper ranges of the atmosphere. I can feel it pulling on me. Whoa! Whoa, Harry! It's ruptured. How bad is it? Bad enough. I'm going to try to patch it. We're starting into the atmosphere, Harry. I know it. Drag on skips getting heavy all the time. That's as good as I'm going to get it. I think it'll hold for a while. OK, hurry up, Skip. We're running out of time. Yeah, it's already starting to get warm out here. Fingers crossed. Activate turbo start. Turbo start activated. We have fuel pressure. Ignition. Come on, baby. had been cooked alive. You know, for a minute there, I thought we were all headed for a barbecue. The vulture came through. Yeah. Any reason we can't make a precision landing? No, all systems are go. It's looking good. Where do you want to set her down, the junkyard? No, no, not the junkyard. They'll be waiting for us there. Well, where? Right there. That's out in the middle of nowhere. Always good to have an ace up your sleeve. Skip, hit the radio transmit button. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going home. My shift is over. Hey, Billy. Sure, you know how to read this thing? Yep, they briefed me on it. 
Uh, where's the vulture gonna come down? I don't know, and you can't tell by the board. Aubrey, this is Special Agent Klinger, FBI. Patch me through to NASA, please. picked him up on radar. He's coming down near Barstow. He's got that satellite all right. I can't let him keep it. Mount him up, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on, fellas, mount up. Let's go. Move it, Sergeant. Move it. See the highway and the railroad. Okay, commence rotation. Rotation. Altitude 4,000 feet. Descent velocity 18 knots. No sign of Klinger in the Army yet. Not yet, but they'll be there. a satellite, Harry. What satellite? Please, Miss Slozar, don't play Q with me. Sergeant. Sir? Check that cargo hatch. Yes, sir. There's nothing in the cargo hold, sir. You see? Check the flight station. Sir? Up there. Yes, sir. There's nothing in there, Jack. We'll find out. Hey, I tried. I mean, I tried to warn you. You just wouldn't listen to me. There's no satellite up here, sir. Harry, I don't know what you've done with it, but I do know that you have it. Jack, I'm getting tired of this little game. Now, we just returned from an official NASA rescue mission. And the next time you come looking for some cockamamie satellite you've lost someplace, you'd better have a federal search warrant. But we do appreciate you meeting us at the airport.
ounces at about $280 an ounce. Current market values comes to... $616,000. Pay off a few back taxes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I sure would have liked to see the look on Klinger's face when he found out the satellite wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of Oh, good break. Yeah. Uh, hi, Jack. You sure have the attitude, <laughs> Here's your search warrant, Harry. Why don't you save everybody's time? Just hand over that satellite. There's nothing even resembling a satellite around here. Harry, I trusted you, remember? I stuck my neck way out for you. You're going to pay me back by trying to steal that satellite? Hey, I trusted you. I told you my weakness, and you used it against me. Guess that makes us even, huh? Yeah, I guess it does. Still got to have that satellite, Harry. inside there. Is that what everybody was so upset about? Officially now, this item does not exist. What did I think I was going to do? Sell it to the Russians? I just wanted to pay my taxes. I tried to tell them that all along. You were on a level. They wouldn't listen. I guess the situation was just too sensitive. Sure glad everything now is all right. Sorry this got in your way. I almost got in our way, didn't it, pal? Yeah. <laughs> Still is a problem for me, Harry. How's that? Supposed to burn up on re-entry. There's always a solution for everything. 